What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today is December 19th, 2019. We're kind of wrapping up the year here. Finally, I'm in front of the camera. It's been a long time since I've actually made a video and I have a lot of things to update you on um, as well as a trade. It was pretty much a swing trade that I made, the first swing trade that I made in several years and I'm switching up my strategy. Yes, I know again, but really quick, I want to touch base to you uh, with you guys as far as why I haven't been trading. And I'm gonna go back as far as uh, May and just really quick, do a quick, quick, quick recap. I was working at a property management company for 15 years and it sold uh, to big corporation from Florida and I started working for another property manager um, here in the same town and I wanted to buy that property management company. Um, I, I had first dibs and uh, to buy the company when the owners went to sell. And well, that happened back in May, they told me that they wanted to sell. I started making arrangements to possibly purchase this company. And long story short, we couldn't uh, agree up, uh, on a price and it ended up selling to another property management company here in the same town. And now I manage, I, I work, I don't manage it, but I work for the company that bought the company that I was wanting to buy. And it's been, it's been a journey and it's been an experience. Uh, ups and downs, good and bad, pluses and minuses, like always. But I want to get back to my passion, which is day trading. With that being said, guys, I don't have much opportunity to uh, actually day trade, actually sit in front of the computer and actually look for uh, entries and exits um, like I did uh, towards the beginning of the year and, and you know, for as far back as, as a couple of years. I work full time now from eight o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the afternoon. And I, I just don't have the time and luxury to sit in front of the computer and actually trade. And with that being said, I understood that I have to change my strategy up a little bit. And I have, and I have a lot of things uh, coming uh, that I'm working on and I will update you guys when those things have sort of been planned out a little bit better but for the time for the here and now um, i'm going to let you know that i found a new strategy so i can swing trade not necessarily day trade and let me show you today's trade and then i'll talk to you about the indicators that i'm actually using guys so let's get to uh the computer screen Alrighty, guys what's up what's up what's up um, full disclosure, before I get into this, full disclosure, this is not my strategy. I did not come up with this strategy. I'm not the writer nor the author of the strategy whatsoever. I came across it on, uh, on YouTube, actually, believe it or not. And, um, I, I, I came across it. I looked into it. I did a lot of back testing and this is something that I wanted to explore. And so now I'm sharing it with you guys. So full disclosure, I did not come up with this strategy. With that being said, guys, uh, what we're looking at right now on the left hand side, we have the daily chart of spy. And on the right hand side, we have the one hour chart on spy. In the simplest form that I can explain this strategy, this strategy, first of all, is called the MOBO strategy, I guess. That's that's what it is, MOBO strategy, MOBO bands. And again, I'm gonna put a bunch of descriptions, a bunch of links down in the description. It's gonna be a very uh, full of information video here today for you guys. You're more than welcome to look into it yourself and use it for yourself at your own risk, of course, right? Mobo bands. It's basically a modified Bollinger Band strategy. The simplest way I can explain it is once the price closes above the um, upper band, it creates a entry sig signal. Um, and once it closes below the lower band, it creates an exit signal and then vice versa. 
Uh, anytime that you get an exit signal, basically a down signal, the, uh, uh, the price closes below the lower band, it creates an entry signal, and then once it closes above the uh, upper band, it creates an exit signal, just flip-flop them. Um, in a nutshell, you can be in the market 100% of the time if you wanted to. Now, this is where it gets really cool. So looking at the daily chart, we are just looking at the daily chart. Um, you, you see that, um, you know, as soon as let's just take, for instance, this one back on May the 7th of 2019, it closed underneath the lower band, created a down signal and you could have written this wave all the way down to here, but it actually didn't actually close, um, until here. So you lost quite a bit here. Uh, but in a nutshell, I mean, that's, that's ba as basic as I possibly can, right? Um, now, <clears throat> I don't like trading the daily chart. I wanted to trade the hourly chart. But this is what is really cool and really interesting. Um, the author of this strategy came up with the mobile multi time frame strategy where it will go off of the higher duration it'll only trade in that direction meaning if on the daily charts it ha we have a down signal like on may the uh, the 7th it'll only trade the down signals throughout that entire uh, sort of move, if you will, you might lose uh, the opportunity to trade the reversals and whatnot. But the idea is the trend is your friend kind of mentality. So that's what I did here. Now, everything is free except for that particular strategy where it incorporates the higher time frame signal, if you will. And I actually paid $15 to attain that strategy. Um, and I believe it's on Patreon. I'm, I'm hoping that I pronounced that correctly. And again, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below for everything. I am not affiliated um, whatsoever with the author, with, with this and that. I don't make a dime off of this, guys. Again, 100% full disclosure. So, um, back again to the strategy. Um, I traded this signal here, and this was yesterday. Yesterday at my time at 9.30, so because it produced a signal here at 8.30, at the end of 8.30, the very next candle on the open, you're supposed to execute a an order, the, the trade, right? So I bought calls. I bought the 319.50 calls that expire in nine days. Well, technically today is eight days, but yesterday, nine days, I bought them at $1.34. And I took a little bit of pain. And in fact, right here, I should have gone out, but my I set particular rules on it, guys. And again, I'm going through this um, quickly um, just to get it, you know, just to get to the point kind of thing. And if you have any questions, by all means, um, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions on a future video. But really quick here. I, I didn't get out because, well, it, it produced uh, this this signal here at right at the close. And this morning, the uh, markets opened flat. And my idea was, well, if it continues down lower, below the low of this candle, I'm going to get out at a loss. It was a major loss. It would have been a major loss, but I stuck in there and I ended up making 10% overall on my position. I'll show you that position here in just a moment, but I just wanted to show you that uh, trade here. The cool thing about this, guys, is you can actually see the profit or loss on uh, the strategy. This is really, really cool. You just look up floating PL for profit loss, apply, and this is over the last. 360 trading days, not calendar, calendar days, trading days, 
if you would have bought the underlying security SPY 100 shares every trade, you would have been up today $8,918.43. This is the coolest thing about this is you can actually see the profit loss sort of I guess uh, visually see the profit loss kind of thing. And you can see that it started off a little on the rough side here, but then quickly um, gained, gained it back and then some. Really cool, really awesome. I can make a video at a later date um, of how to do all of this, but I still just wanted to uh, show you this awesome strategy I came across. Look at this, this trade here. You could have bought it right here at the open at 314.20. And this would have been on the 11th of December. And you would have gone all of this, all of these gains and got out right here. How awesome is that? Again, if you would have just traded the underlying security, uh, 100 shares, you would have been at um, 8264, got out here at... 88.26, so about what, 600, give or take, right? $600 um, worth of gains here over one, two, three, four, five days. So this is what I'm doing, guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, comment down below. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the trade. I bought two of the 319.50 calls that expired at the time, nine days, right? I bought them at $1.34, sold one at $1.44, and sold the second one at $1.47. Um, there for uh, uh, quite a bit, I got down to, uh, those calls got down to 90 cents. So it was tough. I did endure a little, a little bit of pain, um, and I'll admit that, but overall the strategy worked, and I'm gonna stick to my guns on this one, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if it was very uh, informative for you guys. If you liked it, if you learned something new from it, I would greatly appreciate it. Tell me what you traded, uh, what you made money on, what you lost money on, guys. I would greatly appreciate any input. Again, this is a quick video of what's been going on in my life and what strategy and what indicators I am now using, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. I will see you on the next trade.